Hello Makers! You probably have seen my video about the coolest motion detection sensor ever, the RCWL051 Fix. And if you don't, I'll leave an info card about here so you can watch it now. Have you watched it? So, a guy called AD Photo, I hope I pronounced it correct, comments that if you attach those infrared sensors to an ESP8266, this infrared sensor interferes with this module. So, what's obvious? So the question is, can this sensor that works with radar waves be attached to an ESP8266 and still both will work fine? I think this is worth another video and I will test it out. To this ESP8266, it interferes in this way with this sensor that it's, it detects movement without something that moves. Interference of the ESP triggers um, the output of this sensor. Although this should not happen because the ESP8266 in version 12E that's mounted on this Note MCU board has an FC certification. That means the components on this chip should be shielded and should not interfere with other arm electronics. But not only the curiosity if the sensor works with this ESP8266, I also wanted to use this sensor in one of my bigger projects. And it would be pretty shitty if I cannot use this sensor. So here is my small setup. With the motion detection sensor, the ESP8266 and two LEDs. The green LED indicates that it's connected to my network. The blue LED will light up when the sensor detects movement. And so far I cannot see that the sensor gets false positive sensor values. I put it in a separate room with a camera pointed at it and let it run for about 5 minutes without any human presence. And guess what? The movement LED didn't light up even one time. I'm not sure if 5 minutes is enough for a proper test, but truly it proves it's n that this sensor is not so sensible as the infrared sensor. But we are not finished with this video yet. Bernardo the Liar asks if the movement is detected because of the water in the human body. Interesting. If it is so, it would not detect an empty water bottle, but a filled one. And it would even detect animals. I guess for this next setup we need an assistant. So let's ask my assistants to get up and test this sensor. Assistant, get up! Get up! Get up! Hmm... I guess this would be harder than expected. Let's see if we can persuade our assistant to come. Cookie!
As you can see, the cat has to move quite a lot to trigger the sensor. So let's try it out. First, a bottle without any water. Then try to move myself as, and I try to move myself as less as possible. Yeah, the bottle itself doesn't seem to trigger the sensor. Let's fill it with water and repeat the test. Now the bottle is filled with water. And let's try to move it and not myself again. So what to say, I will use this sensor in my big project and hope it will do what it's supposed to do. And again, thanks for the hint and be creative. Bye!